let me tell you, in our case right now, there is a famine of the Word of God, but it's not because of Him. It's self-induced. It's self-induced. Turn to Him. Speak to Him. Tell Him about it and ask Him to help you to get back on the right track. Every day, get into his word and begin to read. I've heard all the excuses. Oh, I can't understand it. And, and pastor, every time I get in to read, I, got, I read you know five or six verses. I got to stop because I don't remember what I read. And I got to go back and read it again. Keep doing it. It'll get there one of these days. Keep doing it. You'll get there. Hey been there we've all been there keep doing it though just stick with it work at it god will bring it around for you he'll clear up the confusion he'll make sense of it all when something jumps out at you a word catches your eye a thought catches your attention to go in and dig into that Study that part out. Think through that. Don't just read past it. Don't just keep moving on. Stop and, and think through it. God right there is saying something to you. Don't pass it by. Give him the opportunity to elaborate. I encourage every one of us to commit to that daily in the word time with your Bible and with the Lord. It will do you more good than any other activity that you're spending your time on during your day. Anybody want to amen that? I mean, is that true or not? Some say, well, I don't know, preacher. I, you know, I, I get $200 an hour doing what I do. I'll tell you the Word of God and spending time and an hour in the Word of God where you're devoted to Him, seeking to hear from Him, receiving from Him is far more valuable than $200. The Bible speaks of the Word of God as silver, as treasure, as honey. I mean, there's so much good for you and I. If you'll do more time in the Word of God and devote yourself to it, He will speak to you through His Word. And when that happens, I'm telling you, you know, many of you already know what I'm talking about. Now, you'll want more of that, won't you? You'll want more of that. Don't get to the point in your life where we're like Israel where we have gotten so consumed with everything else that not only have we not devoted time to what's important, but we've gotten so consumed with everything else that we're not even listening as He's calling out to us. Many won't pay any attention to Sunday school teachers, to pastors today. Don't pay any attention to their, to their fellow brothers and sisters in Christ who come along with a biblical word of advice. It just goes in one ear and out the other. Don't get there. If you're there, repent. It is important that we spend time with Him and His Word. And if you haven't lately, change that.